Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SAS Metro School. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. So today, talking about downgrades and booking. So should downgrades count against my booked ARR number? And this is a really important decision, one for bookings tracking, and then it affects our sales and marketing efficiency metrics. So I talk about this a lot in my SAS Metrics Foundation course with my students when we get to pillar one and our bookings data. Again, booking is so important to track that in our SAS business. So first, what is a downgrade? Well, a downgrade is when a customer is, for example, paying us 10000 a year, and we go to that renewal point, and they drop seats or they drop modules, and now they're paying us $8,000 a year. They're still a customer, but now we have a net downgrade of $2,000. So what do we do with that $2,000? Of course, we're going to invoice that customer for $8,000. Great. They continue to be a customer. But what do we do with that net 2 k downgrade? Should we report that in our bookings report? Should that flow into our sales and marketing efficiency metrics as a downgrade and offset total ARR? So a couple key points with this. When we have a sales motion, a sales expense to capture that renewal, which could result in expansion and vice versa, it could result in a downgrade, then I'm going to track it in my bookings report because there is an expense, there is a motion, there are resources required to get that renewal even though it resulted in a downgrade. So in that case, I'm going to capture that in my bookings report as a net downgrade, and it's going to count against my total ARR, and it's going to flow then into my sales and marketing efficiency metrics, specifically into the cost of ARR and the cost of expansion ARR. Because we're trying to get expansion ARR, there was a sales expense, there was a go-to-market motion there, but it resulted in a downgrade, unfortunately. Of course, on the flip side, we could have expansion. So in that case, it is going to be in my bookings report. It's going to, of course, affect my revenue forecast, and it's going to flow into my sales and marketing efficiency metrics. Now, when should we not include downgrades in our bookings report and adjust our sales and marketing metrics? Well, when customers can self-select that downgrade. So maybe in the product, in the application, they can drop a module, they can drop a seat, whatever it might be. There's no sales contact no contact with the co company, so there's no expense on our side, no go-to-market motion, then I'm not going to ding my net ARR number, my total bookings ARR number with that downgrade. Now, of course, I'm going to track that potentially through my MRR schedule, but it's not going to count against my bookings because there's no expense. And also when I think sales and marketing efficiency metrics, I'm not going to ding those metrics, penalize those metrics for that downgrade because there was no expense. There was no motion for that downgrade. The customer can self-select. So just high-level criteria that I look at w on whether we should include downgrades against our total ARR number, and then also how it should influence our sales and marketing efficiency metrics. So I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Again, if you find value in these episodes, I'd love a rating and review. Take care.